TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick. You can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. This channel above me and around me is, um, if we go live and you happen to miss any of the highlights, you know, tap in right there. Whatever's good is going to be on there. Um, we also got the Discord, which is going to play a pivotal role nowadays. Because on Kick, you can't put links in the chat. So you're going to have to send them to the Discord. We, we do them that way. And we also got the Patreon, man. If you're looking for any of these socials, including Kick, they are in the link below. In the description below, you just go down there. There's a link tree in there. Click the link tree and everything will pop up for you, man. This is inside London's most dangerous hood. UK ghettos. This is by Oi Lily. Or, or, uh, okay, it's by Lily. God damn it. Coming up, we don't need to see what's coming up. All right, here we go. Important, this is important to watch the entire video to get the full picture of the neighborhood shown, all right. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the most dangerous area of London according to the crime statistics. When we look at the recent statistics, it is pretty clear what is the most crime-affected borough of London as of 2021 and that is Croydon. This year, Croydon scored the top place for the most violent number of crimes, including knife crime, antisocial behaviors, and vehicle offenses. Not only that, but when we Google what the locals say about Croydon, it is not looking good to say the least. People online call Croydon a crime-ridden slum, UK's ghetto, and a stain. They also warn you about the supposedly frequent riots happening in Croydon and even kidnapping and stabbing. This will be my first time ever in Croydon. I haven't been there before and I don't know what to expect. I get that these articles and these comments are not coming out of nowhere, but at the same time it's very important for me to come to Croydon with an open mind, giving it a fair chance with the hopes that this place is not as bad as these comments and the media says at least not from the point of view of an average visitor like me. We'll be going to supposedly the most dangerous areas in Croydon, the ones that had most crimes this year, and I'll be filming it all, hopefully the good sides and the bad sides. So let's begin. Okay. Sounds like she's coming in as a tourist, unbiased. You know what I'm saying? No prior acknowledgement, no prior feelings towards it. Just, just, okay. This shit's gonna piss me off. Alright, whatever. My bad. Anyway, let's get to it. So guys, we just arrived from Croydon. I'm here with my best friend Nisi. Hi guys. Well, I don't know if you've seen these comments. People say Croydon is a ghetto place. No. In the comments. But then I go on Google Images and it actually looks decent. So we'll see. We are now in East Croydon. Our first stop is going to be Fairfield because it is vaulted. The most dangerous area, crime-wise. These blocks of flats look kind of modern. These ones, maybe not as much, but they look just like normal offices, to be honest. This building is definitely new, but we are just at the train station, so let's go further and see. So 
So statistically, this is the worst, most dangerous area in the UK. Okay. We are at the Croydon College now. It could do us some renovation and painting. That's for sure. I mean, it looks a lot older than my college in Hampshire, but it's not. It's not terrible. It could be far worse than this. If my 64-year-old mom can make. I'm trying to understand because, like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't look bad. I feel like articles always say, like, or people in general will say somewhere is scary, and actually, you might visit there and you don't see that scary side to it. Like, it's all about experience, I would say. So far, I can't see it. I agree with her. It's all about experience. And most times, you're not going to these places looking for, you know, looking for nothing. Like, looking for no badge. So. But maybe if I lived here, yeah. or maybe if I was here in the middle of the night, it would be a different story. Yeah. But right now, we are feeling completely safe. You know, when I came here, I was expecting a very run-down place. It's nice! With, like, walls falling off, a lot of garbage. Yeah, beautiful art! <laughs> so far, the more I explore Croydon, the nicer it gets. I, I am truly quite surprised, but I know this is just the park. But look, nobody has destroyed it, nobody put graffiti on it. You would think if this place was so bad with crime and gangs, a place like this wouldn't survive. Right now, we are actually heading to West. But I, I, I honestly wonder what her take is on gangs, what she thinks gangs does. You know what I'm saying? Because there could be a political party inside of the hood that cleans up everything. And, you know, gang politics are different around the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, some gangs understand that the neighborhood got to be nice, clean, blah, 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 blah. There's kids around. You know what I'm saying? Croydon to Broad Green, which has been voted the second worst Broad Green. area in terms of crimes in Croydon. I know West Croydon in general has a very bad reputation. Actually, a lot of comments said West Croydon avoided cold cost, complete the worst place to be, ghetto, slums. All these kinds of comments have been written by the people who live in Croydon. So, we're going there now. Let me be your own people. Like me personally in Chicago, Chicago was, was fun. <laughs> Lit, fun as a kid, fun as an adult, fun as a teen, fun, as, you know what I'm saying? So, anything that I got into in Chicago, it was at my own fault. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I had a fun time. <laughs> Homeless people everywhere though. One of the comments in the chat say, "Would you, would you, do you think? Would you say the gang life is always chosen?" No, nah, no, nah, for sure not. Sometimes you're born into it. Your mama's a gangster. Your daddy's a gangster. You're gonna be a gangster. And they're not trying to change the lifestyle, you, you're going to be a gangster. But some of it is passed down through generations and generations. Bastard. Wow. Fuck off. Yes. Use a blood clot, racist. We don't like white people. We don't like fucking white people. She get a white him on the big bar. And me, she give me a little fucking bar. We don't like racist. We don't like blood clot, white people. Fuck off, man. Cussing their ass out, wouldn't he? Fucking bad. Look at you. Friday, I'm not here to say. I'm saying that Friday's gonna be a new Friday. Yeah? I'm working for Friday. Wow. 
We're not working. My government's working. My government is working. My government is working even now. There's no longer getting into the streets. That God rests on the seventh day. So they think that God rests on the seventh day. Imagine God rests every seventh day. I couldn't even hear him clearly. Like, you don't really know what's going on in any neighborhood until you slide by there at night anyway. Like, at night is when it gets peaked, you know what I'm saying, anywhere. Yeah. Let me tell you one thing, man. Gangsters sleep at night. They sleep during the day. Ain't nothing happen during the day. It's too lively out. The hood got the best food though for sure, so I'm in there. Freedom. Freedom is why I love doing apartment. So we just got to Broad Green, which is based close to the West Croydon underground station. Do I feel any kind of danger here in the middle of the day? No, I'm here on my own right now, filming with a camera, walking around. This rubbish is very off-putting and other than that, like the houses look nice. There are some bits near Broad Green which are extremely dirty, extremely like just run that down and dirty. But then you look at a bit like this one and it just doesn't look that bad other than the rubbish. Supposedly there are a lot of gangs here, drug-related crime, antisocial behaviors. I think that's the main problem of this area. Also some vehicles get stolen here quite frequently in comparison to other parts of London. Um, this is the Broad Green Avenue. I think like her experience is going to be different than any like like her experience and whoever this is experience two different experiences. <laughs> you go of course nobody's going to you know what I'm saying? This looks like any other street in England. I would not be very concerned about this place to say that it's rough or it's the worst area to live in. But at the same time, I guess you don't really know, fully know the place until you live there. This looks like a housing estate on Broad Green, but from what I can see, it's actually pretty well looked after. The grass is nicely cut, the architecture is pretty neat. So, pretty decent housing estate, if I'm going to be honest. I was expecting something a bit more rough. Nice plants, a lot of greenery. If any of you guys are from this area, this is W Upkeep. Area, please let me know if this is actually not as bad as the media says, or perhaps it just looks decent but actually doesn't prevent the crime rate. And that's broad green. That's one of the most dangerous areas in London according to the internet there's some people there there might be a dead end I don't want them to kick me out and think I'm an intro down at Hudson State probably because I go this way even though I'm filming with the camera probably already looking a bit weird Thank you. 
Don't take the vaccine. That's crazy. That they wrote it out like this. They wrote it out with an accent. That's the. There's not nothing bad going on. It's just a little march about vaccines. currently like I said like me going to this hood and her going to this hood this neighborhood it could be two different completely can be two completely different experiences but at the same time it's like this is not what we came for yeah. to get the full experience you got to get somebody like involved to do it not involved. All right, maybe somebody from there or something. Perfect. She should ask them some questions. The march. Where are we going? <laughs> okay, here is where we going up. <laughs> For our third and fourth most dangerous areas in Croydon, we have Thornton. Actually, both of them are based in Thornton. One of them is Thornton Peak and the other one is Thornton West, West Thornton. We will get into the vaccine, anti-vaxxers discussion later. On the way to Thornton, we saw a anti-vaccination protest. We followed it for a while, but then we decided to divert here. Yeah. I mean, look at all this rubbish, yeah. Oh, we spread. But that's the city's fault though. That's the city fault. I don't feel like that got nothing to do with the people. That's an alley with garbage in it. It's only rubbish. Good W kick ad. <laughs> we only just reached Fronted and that was my first experience with it. That's why it's not so great. I personally think it's unacceptable to have so much rubbish in the capital of one of uh, She would hate New York. Oh, I went to New York. So, oh, man, you, it don't matter what neighborhood you in New York. Oh, you gonna see that trash because there's no alleys. So they pile the garbage up outside in the front for pickup. 
of the wealthiest countries in the world. Why? Because we pay, people here pay so much in taxes, yet this place is dirtier than a lot of poorer countries I've been to. Oh my god, here we go again! No, but come on. There's, there's currently more rats in Chicago than there is in, in, in New York. So, when I went to New York, I didn't really see no rats like that. I've seen a few because I was in the subway, but there's way more in Chicago. <laughs> like, statistically, it's, it's a proven fact now. Like, it's nothing to brag about, but it's nasty. Oh, it's a cafe. It does it look It looks scary. I want to be always 100% fair with you guys. And, I mean, abandoned building. We would not see that in our hometown. Look, rubbish everywhere. I feel like it has its really bad parts and then it has its very normal parts. But that's the problem if you live in this area. Yeah, this bit is nice, but then you have to go through all the dirty and horrible bits. Watch out. House is nice. A lot of nice properties here. That's what I'm saying. Some of these are like property depending on who the owner is depending on if the owner wants to do something with the property if the owner is cleanly if they're not like. it's very 50 50. yeah i don't think there's anything all that wrong with it at all what do you think it looks fine to me yeah so now we are walking towards fountain heath yeah it's not too bad actually do you fancy some curry not by looking at that, no. Damn! They're, clear, they're clearly out of business. We are currently at the Trumbull Gardens uh, Fulton Heath Public Space Protection uh, like little park and we are hoping to get my drone up. Mm -hmm. But as we approach this park, there's only some people I gotta agree. Going on, people going on in this area. Please lock your car. Remove all valuables. However, it just kind of popped by the way. And a conflict. Right. Nah, we getting somewhere. Us from freedom. We are very vulnerable because we are divided as a society. This is the quieter part of Fountain now. It's enough about the vaccine talk, by the way, you guys. I know this video is not meant to be about that whatsoever. It just kind of popped out of nowhere. Croydon Neighborhood Watch. Thieves operate in this area. Please lock your car. Remove all valuables. I think this is a clear. I feel like you should do that anywhere, though. Anywhere there's an opportunity, somebody's going to be there to take that opportunity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, why would you leave valuables in your car? Like, it's not made of glass or something. I wouldn't do that anyway. And I always lock my car. Clear sign that robberies happen in this area as well as cars getting hijacked. I do feel like progressively she's getting deeper into the real hood though. At first when I was seeing it, it wasn't like, it was, uh, it was in the downtown area, the good part. Just having a walk to West Fountain, and I just thought I would update you and say I find this district clean. So not to say that all dirty for sure not. Got to say all the nice bits. And I would be really interested to go on to, to take a tour in, on the west side of Chicago and the south side of Chicago. And over east, I ain't even gonna lie. Some parts of the north side, but like, let's just keep it a buck. Let's go to the south side. This it's gonna turn real tragic real quick. This one is nice and clean. I see, I see a house here and there boarded up on here. I'm talking about there's whole blocks abandoned in Chicago. Entire blocks boarded up. You know what I'm saying? Like entire blocks that look like they've never been occupied. 
old retail park on Fountain Road, industrial estate. Hey, Miami. Google Fiber Web Pass. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like we got the gist of this. Ain't really nothing going on. I'm pretty sure like, you know, time time plays a factor in it is who plays a factor in it is. But like, I don't know, man. Like a house, like I was saying, like a house boarded up here and there. Probably got structural damage, fire. I don't know, Chicago, like it's, it's whole blocks that are gone. Like it's a it's a house a house both boarded up, then the rest of the block is filled, taped off or fenced off. Like it's just I'm not I don't okay. <laughs> TLO leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post and go.